Jessica and today I wanted to show you how I do my makeup. So I got like three whole compliments asking about my makeup. So my head just got really narcissistic and decided I needed to do a makeup video. So I am showing you how I do my makeup to get this glam look that I use for social media. And I want to preface this video before we begin and I will state it throughout this whole entire video that I am by no means a makeup expert. So please do not trust me 100%. These are just things that I have learned and I try to apply throughout this video so that you guys can use it. Hi, I wanted to recreate the look from my last video about me trying pink drinks from Starbucks that are viral on TikTok. So let's begin. I usually put on some lotion and then I already did that and I would put on sunscreen if I'm going out, but I'm just doing my makeup for the video today. So let's get to it. The first thing I do is I apply some primer. My foundation will be a little bit longer lasting and go on smoother. My cat Augie is deciding to also join us so you might see her. She's currently just stamping my makeup that's on the desk right now. And by no means am I a makeup artist or claim that I'm an expert. I just do things that I've kind of learned. And one thing is to go light on the primer because a little goes a long way. And also to go light on the concealer that you put on your eyes. You usually use like a light base under your eyeshadow so that it will be more pigmented when you apply the eyeshadow. And you want to do a light base because that will keep your eyeshadow from creasing throughout the day. I always apparently apply a lot because my eyeshadow creases no matter what, but maybe, maybe it's the makeup and not me. I don't know. So next, like I said in my comments, when someone asked me about my eyeshadow, I honestly just use some blush. This is some old blush that I have by Physicians Formula. And I just have had it for so long. I don't even know if they make this or if it exists anymore, but it's the Mineral Wear Talk Free Mineral Airbrushing Blush SPF 30 in Rose. So I just always apply blush or bronzer on my eyelid, depending if I want pink or a more natural looking color with the corresponding brush. I put on my eyebrows. And I love the Anastasia products, so I am using their taupe color. And then I get rid of the crazy highbrow pink by putting this under my eyebrow and also making any, if I get any smudges from the brow pomade, I get rid of it with this. And then I just brush it up to kind of blend it out. Next, I'll start applying my eyeliner. Now, I'm not an expert at applying eyeliner. I am not good, they never turn out even, but I just kind of put it at an angle and then kind of just swipe it to the side and just hope for the best and try to fix it and make it all line up, but I don't know, so don't, I have no eyeliner tip. This one is so much bigger, so I usually kind of just try to get rid of it by patting with one of my fingers to make it smaller, and then I go over it with some concealer to cover up. So now we'll go in with the concealer, and we'll just place it under our eyes a little, on the eyebrow, on the nose, on the upper lip, a little on the chin. Next we'll apply foundation. I don't like any foundation that I own. I just use whatever I buy. I'm always like trying out new foundation. This is the Sephora brand, It Cosmetics C 
CC cream, SPF 50. I don't really like it, but I own it, so I'm using it. Next, we're gonna blend in everything. So we'll start with the concealer, the white part. I like to go down my neck so there's not a distinct separation between your foundation mismatch with your skin. I think it's always good to blend downward. And you want to make sure you get the tip of your nose underneath where your nostrils are and get like in your nose crevices. And then I'll take this part and I'll smooth the concealer underneath my eye a bit. But it's not too important because I put my blush underneath. So we'll start to do that now. So I somehow broke this so it won't ever close, but I use Victoria's Secret's Velvet Matte and the color Magnetic as my blush. So I just put a little at a time because if you use too much, then you look crazy. And then I add a little more if I feel like it and I put some on the tip of my nose. And we'll go back over with the Beauty Blender to cover up any mistakes that I have made. Next, so that my eyeshadow and my blush match, I use the blush that I used as my eyeshadow and I put it under my eye as well. And I put it on the tip of my nose. And you could also, if you wanted to, put it across your nose bridge. I usually either do the tip of my nose or just across to have that sunburn look. But today and last my video, last time I put it on the tip of my nose, so that's what we're doing today. Next, I have this Physician's Formula Powder that I broke in this compact. And it's the Glow and Mood Boosting Powder Bronzer. And I just take this and these Morphe Beauty brushes that um, are for nose contouring. And I use this skinnier one and I go and make kind of like a weird long triangle. And then I make a little itty bitty triangle on the tip of my nose. And then I put it on the sides of my nose. And then I don't dip back in and I put it here. And I put it here on the bottom because it gives you the illusion of bigger lips, they say. So that's what we want is fullness in the lips. Next, I take the larger nose contouring brush and I just go upward for a little bit on either side. And then I go down the sides of my nose. And then I gently go across. And then I go upward. You always want to apply things in an upward motion so that you don't sag your face downward. And in reality, this is very obvious. You can probably tell that my nose is contoured, but I feel like in social media and videos, it's not as noticeable as it would be in person. I would look like a clown in person, to be honest. And then I take a clean finger like my pinky and I kind of brush the concealer out just so it's wider. And you can always add more if you need to. I'm going to use this again because I see right here it's a little dark. Just kind of blend in everything as best you can. And then I take my bronzer blush brush and I put it on my chin and then I 
just kind of fan it down so again I'm blending with my neck. And then I use my sponge again and kind of blend in my chin a little bit better. And if you don't have bangs, you can also make your forehead smaller by doing a little of contouring or bronzer at the top and going back into your hairline. Next, I use retractable lip liner from Sephora and I put some underneath my eyes as if it's eyeliner. And then I do it on my lips as well. And then once I'm happy with the lip liner and everything, I take the other end, which is like a brush, and I just brush underneath my eyes to spread the lip liner. And this is just to make sure that the blush underneath my eye is more noticeable with the darker shade, but it's kind of like an ombre transition. And then I brush my lip liner upward to kind of blend in. And once I'm happy with how my lips are blended and I'm staying far away so you can't see how bad these lip lines are, I put on the lip stain that I use for under my eyes as blush on my lips just so everything is consistent with the shade. Hey everyone, I put on something a lot cuter for pictures and I did my hair in cute little buns and now I'm gonna apply some Too Faced waterproof mascara and I forgot to do that earlier so that's what I'm about to do now. And now I'm going to apply some magnetic eyelashes. Putting on false eyelashes hides all your eyeliner mistakes. And yeah, so this is my glam makeup that I do for social media. I honestly feel like if you go outside in this, just know you'll kind of look like a clown. And I don't care because what you guys will see is just on video and social media pictures. So I feel like I don't look as insane as I do currently. But honestly, I feel like with the contouring, it's very noticeable. I am in no way like a keep repeating an expert with makeup. So please never trust me. I try to watch YouTube videos, Pinterest, tips to look up or watch TikToks on makeup tips and that's where I get them from but I'm not a great like applicator or applier of these tips. I know like my lips they're very overlined but they look great in pictures and I think that's all that this like look matters really. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for those compliments from my last video. And I hope this helps you with your makeup. Bye everyone.